but I was a broker right when I turned 18. And so my first year in real estate, I maybe made about $8,000. My second year, maybe 10,000. But my third year, which was 1980, I made $100,000, which, you know, as you know, back then was pretty decent money for a punk kid like myself. <laughs> so what happened between year two and year three? And what happened was I met someone that taught me about the importance of mindset and psychology and how truly 80 to 90% of a person's success in anything is just that mindset and psychology. If it's only knowledge, there'd be a bunch of wealthy librarians and college professors out there. It's the do, it's the taking action with what you know. And so fast forward to today, I've owned uh, 2000 plus houses that I rented long-term in three states. I've owned thousands of apartment units, um, I've actually built 27 businesses. I don't call them failures when they fail. I call them seminars. Uh, several have been <laughs> worth tens of, tens of millions of dollars. Most were spectacular flaming seminars. But, uh, <laughs> but, but anyway, in 2006, my net worth went up $17 million while I slept. And you're thinking, ooh, well, uh, so did I. I thought I was a freaking real estate god. And I, my head got so big, I could barely fit it through the door. And you know, when that happens, God of the universe might give you a little smack. Well, that was 2008. I lost everything. I lost $50 million conservatively in 2008 and 9. And so, you know, what I'm known for really is talking about you know, the mindset uh, associated with having 50 million to lose in the first place. And then the mindset it took to recover from that. People threw themselves off buildings and kill themselves for less, you know, in the Great Depression and even this recent contraction. But, uh, you know, that's my story. And, and yeah, I, I love my team. I've got an incredible team with social media. My podcast, Lifetime Cashflow, has been downloaded 11 and a half million times. I'm really proud of that. It's funny. You want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. I never planned to do anything about it around now. I, I do coaching and teaching and live events and sold out live events. Of, you know, now finally back to live events again. But, you know, my, early on in my podcast, I, you hear, if you listen to early episodes, you hear me say, I'll never sell you anything. I just want to add value, which is truly what I want. I just want to tell my story about what happened in 08 and 09 and why it happened. And uh, now I'm a liar because like I say, I have coaching and courses and everything else. But anyway, that's, that's, that's a very abbreviated version of my story. 